Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the few examples regarding the interference of light. In last class we have seen about the resultant amplitude of the two waves in interference and even resultant intensity we have discussed. Then how can you find the resultant intensity of an amplitude depending upon the given information? Let us try to discuss this. Here, if two waves represented by y1 is equal to 4 sin omega t and y2 is equal to 3 sin omega t plus pi by 3, find amplitude of resulting wave. Tell me what is the resultant amplitude of the wave formula? Resultant amplitude. Amplitude of waves in interference A is equal to root over A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 A1 A2 cos pi. This is what the formula what I have on. And even just in our wave equation y is equal to A sin omega t. Now, you compare these given equations with the given equation with the standard equation for y is equal to a sin omega t plus. So, what you get here? This is represented a1 and this is not here a2. Is it? Omega is remain same constant angular frequency and uh, but different amplitude for small variations where pi by 3 represents the phase difference. And moreover, here you can see that y1 is sin omega t and y2 is equal to a2 sin omega t plus pi by Remember, when two equations are given in the sign, for example, if it is given in the form of cos, but this cos function should be written in the form of sin. Is it? Then you can find the phase difference. That means we should get the two equations in the same form either in a cos omega t, both or a sin omega t, both should be sin or cos. That we have to take. Now, what is a1 value here? a1 is equal to 4, whereas a2 is equal to 3, and phase difference is here pi by 3 pi by 3 is it and remember here this second wave is least the first wave the first wave is lagging the phase by pi by lagging here it is plus means for leading so second wave is leading by pi by 3 phase to the first wave plus pi by 3 and if it is omega t minus pi and here plus pi by 3 then you need to take here pi 1 and is pi 2 then the resultant, display, resultant phase is pi 1 minus pi 2 but here both are in sign form only and here it is omega t and it is what omega t plus pi by 3 then the phase difference is what here pi by 3 omega t plus pi by 3 minus omega t let us substitute this form the uh, values in this given formula we know that a is equal to resultant amplitude of the wave root over a1 4 square plus a2 square 3 square plus 2 a1 a2 2 into 4 into 3 into cos pi by 3 cos pi by 3 is equal to root over 4 square plus 3 square 4 square 16 plus 3 square 9 plus 2 into 4 into 3 cos pi by 3 what is cos pi by 3 value? 1 by 2 then 2 2 cancel that is equal to 25 plus here what is it? Uh, 4 3 is 1 is it? that is equal to root 37 root 37 means what you can get approximately 6 point something approximately this is what 
six is a resulting amplitude of the given superposition of the phase part to superposition. Is it sixteen nine twenty five? Here cos sixty one by two. One by two to cancel four three twelve four plus twenty five thirty seven. So six square thirty six. That is why then you need to remember this formula to solve this equation, this problem. I hope you understood what will be the result in from the result in amplitude of the beam. If they ask amplitude, what is it? I is equal to if in, if they ask intensity, intensity is it directly proportional to A square? Then intensity of this wave is what? Thirty seven. Is it intensity? Intensity I is equal to what again? A square that is equal to what? Thirty seven. Is it? And let me give one more example that this is based on this one that you find formal to do that one. Y one is equal to cos i omega t and y two is equal to three sine three cos. Omega t find the resultant amplitude of the interference of these two. Let me go for the next example. In an interference pattern, the switch which starts in the ratio one is to nine. Ratio of the bits. Ratio of the bits. One is to nine. Then find the ratio of minimum and maximum intensity. Is it? Have you read here? Slit widths. Slit widths. Slit widths is uh, what you can write here. W one is to W two is equal to one is to nine. Everyone needs to W two is equal to what? One is to nine. Then what do you need to find here? We need to find the We need to find the resultant intensity of the wave. Now, minimum and maximum intensity. And what will be the relation between intensity and width and slit width and amplitude? Remember once again, as we have seen that intensity, intensity. Is directly proportional to the slit width, slit width, and it is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude. Square of the amplitude, is it? So what we can write here? Width is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude, or width is directly proportional to the intensity. But remember, what is the form of our maximum intensity and minimum intensity? So what we can write here? Therefore. I one is to I two is equal to one is to nine because that is the first level. Now we need to find ratio of minimum intensity to maximum intensity. Tell me the formulas of the minimum intensity and maximum intensity. In terms maximum A one in terms of the answers A one plus A two whole square. Minimum is a1 minus a2 whole square. Whereas maximum is a1 plus a2 whole square. Or uh, in terms of intensities, already we know that intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude. So what we can write here? Root i1 minus root i2 by root i1 plus root i2 whole square. Is it? A is proportional to A square is proportional to A, and A is proportional to root I. Then root I one, I two values are given. That means after those values, therefore I minimum by I maximum is equal to root I one. Root I one means what? Root one minus root nine by root one plus root nine. This and again both. That's what here we can take one minus root nine three by root one one plus three four. That is equal to 
1 minus 3 minus 2 by 1 plus 3 4 whole square that is equal to what? 1 by 2 whole square is equal to what? 1 is 2. Therefore, what is the ratio of the minimum intensity to the maximum intensity? 1 is 2 or is the answer for this problem. So, let me discuss one more few more examples to this question.
21 by 90 and this value is around 1.05 this value is around 1.05 so that what we can write here a1 plus a2 to graph qualification a1 plus a2 is equal to 1.05 into a1 minus a2 this one just we have to cross it then a1 plus a2 is equal to 1.05 a1 minus 1.05 a 1.05 then bring this minus 1.05 this side a1 to that side so what i get here 2.05 a2 is equal to 1.05 minus 1 then a1 2.05 a2 is equal to 0. Point, so here 1.05 minus 1 0.05 a1 now a1 by a2 is equal to a1 by a2 is equal to what again then 2.05 by 0. 0.05 then this is only times here what 4 by 21 by 1 41 by 1 that is what the ratio of the amplitude but what we need to calculate find out the ratio of intensity of two sources therefore i1 by i2 is equal to a1 by a2 whole square intensity is that we propose to do square of the amplitude that means i1 is equal to a1 square by a2 square then 41 square by 1 square then this is what here 1680 by 1 is it 41 1681 one, 1681 one by 1 then the ratio is 1681 is to 1 this is what we need to understand that's sweet here we need to understand the few concepts are going to discuss that resultant amplitude amplitude square so intensity is that we propose to square of amplitude i maximum is equal to what do you know I1 plus I2 root whole square or A1 plus A2 whole square. Similarly, minimum means minus here minus. And resultant amplitude A is equal to our A1 square plus A2 square plus 2 A1 A2 cos by. These are some examples which are related to the uh, intensity ratios or to calculate resultant intensity or to find the maximum or minimum intensities of the light waves in the interference pattern. This is what the examples for the variations of the intensities of the interference pattern. But let me try to explain about the Huygens has given the wave theory of light but to, that was proved by the experiment which is Thomas and has constructed one experiment that is what we call say Young's double slit experiment Young's double slit experiment experiment Young's double slit experiment in this Thomas and has taken one monochromatic light so let us take sodium vapor or laser light whatever may be the monochromatic light has taken and this is what let me take here this is the source of the light which is Sodium vapor light. Yes, one. Yes, is a source of the light. 
एंड मोनोक्रोमेटिक सोर्स ऑफ लाइट मोनोक्रोमेटिक सोर्स ऑफ लाइट मोनोक्रोमेटिक सोर्स ऑफ लाइट नाउ इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस मोनोक्रोमेटिक सोर्स ऑफ लाइट ही हैज टेकन वन स्लिट हैज टेकन वन स्लिट सो व्हाट वुड हैपन एज यू नो दैट एज यू नो दैट एवरी लाइट विल बी एज्यूम्ड एज ए वेव सो दैट इट प्रोड्यूसेस सम स्पेरिकल वेव स्पेरिकल वेव स्पेरिकल वेव फ्रेंड्स आर Is it spherical wave prints are produced? And let let us take otherwise. This is only the source of light. And here he has taken two slits. We take this yes one, and this is what yes. Is okay. This is the source of the light. Yes. And now he has taken like part four or whatever we have here. Then he made two small holes, two pin holes, two pin holes, which will be act as a slits. Yes one, yes two. And what are these? These are two pin holes, two pin holes. And you can observe that this yes one and the yes two. What happens? The wavelength can be divided. Whatever the spectral wavelength we are getting, and these wavelengths get divided. Here, yeah, this wavelength will be there. Similarly, here this wavelength will be there. Now, because of this, you can observe yes, some points will crest of the one wave and the crest of another wave is falling. And due to this, we have this is what a screen. This is what we have taken here. On this screen, we will get some bright and uh, dark fringes. We we'll get from uh, some bright and uh, dark fringes. So this is what the experiment comes by the Young's double-slit experiment. So here, let me take here G G dash. These are the G G dash is like a screen. Screen. Now tell me, yes one, yes two are two pin holes. And they are illuminated with the same source of light. So the what will be happen? The wavelengths which are getting wavelengths which are getting from S1 X and when the S1 and S2 will be having same frequency and same wavelength. So that these two sources of light are called what are the what type of sources? As coherent sources. Then these two will be act as a coherent sources of the light. Coherent. Sources of light, and we have taken here two pin holes. Instead of that, even you can take the slit. For let me take here even slit. Cardboard we have taken, and here one more cardboard, and here I made a hole. Or even you can take that like this hole slit. This is nothing but slit. Here it is a hole. Here it is a slit. And but here two slits has taken double slits. Two slits has taken. And they have taken a screen. This is what screen, and it is what monochromatic source of light. Monochromatic source of light, and these two will be act as now yes one and yes two as a coherent source of the light, and because of this one, here we will have a on this screen we will have the. Fringe pattern like a dark and bright, dark and bright, dark and bright like alternate dark and bright fringes will be obtained. So that is what here alternate 
डार्क एंड ब्राइट